Hello everyone, my name is Griffin from Coupon Brady Tech, as always, and today we're going to be taking a look at how I make my videos. So to start off, I usually just film my footage. I'll film it um, either in my basement for Coupon Brady or um, just filming it as I am now for this video um, in my room. So step one is filming. Step two is gonna be importing your footage into your editor or however you're gonna put the video on YouTube and getting that footage in there and editing it up. So to do that step, um, I am recording this on just my um, my phone, just camera, because it is better than my webcam, and we don't really have a camera. Um, so I airdrop it to my MacBook Air, and then um, it'll show up on here, and I can drag it in to my editor right now, which is um, iMovie. So we'll wait for that to load. Alrighty, so now iMovie has loaded up. Um, as you can see, I do have um, Premiere, and I will be doing a tutorial on how to get that um, if you guys want that. Um, but I'm going to be using iMovie for now until I can learn how to use Premiere um, as it should be used. But once once I'm in iMovie, what I will do is just create a new project and click Movie. We'll go full screen. And then I'll import my footage from here, drag it in, and edit the video up. The next step is going to be exporting your video um, either as a file or to YouTube. So once my video is all done, I will just head up here to export, click it, and then I'll usually just export it straight to YouTube. So then this window will pop up, and I'll just enter my title, enter whatever I want. And then I'll enter my description. Um, I don't do the tags in here. Um, I'll show you how to do the tags later. Um, but I like doing them better in YouTube. Then you select the category, privacy, all of this stuff. And select the email you want to send it to. Checking add to theater just adds it to your collection of projects that you've deleted. Um, and then I would click next. Obviously, I'm not going to do that right now. So then, as the video is uploading, I would just minimize my editor here and go into Chrome and search up Panzoid, just like that. Click enter. And then head on over to Backgrounder 3. Now, Backgrounder 3 is a really cool um, photo editing software that is basically made for YouTubers. Um, you can choose from these backgrounds, um, do whatever you want up here. But if you go to basics, I really like this. You can just select whether you want a thumbnail and it'll automatically pop up as the perfect size for a thumbnail, perfect size for a banner, um, a profile picture, and really whatever you want, and also video frames. So for my thumbnail, I would obviously select thumbnail and then I would head down to layer one where I would click a preset texture and that background that we use in our thumbnails is indeed right here. So I really like this background. You can click that and then head on over to text. So to add some text, say it's the CVS deals video, I might just type CVS deals and then I use this font in the thumbnails. I use the font Babas, or Babas, I don't know how to say it. Um, and then I'll usually make the top of it just a nice little blue color. And I will change the font size down here to around 300. And I'll just, you can drag it around in here. And then once you have it where you want, it looks plain right now, but you can add some incredibly cool effects. So first of all, if you turn on text border, you can see if I just increase this by a whole, a whole lot, it has a border. I like to keep this at uh, 3 for this uh, size font, but 
it'll vary um, with the size of your text. Then I'll also turn on text shadow and turn the blur up to 30. So that will just make the text pop a whole lot more and it, I think it looks unbelievable. So next I would add some other text obviously, um, but I'm not gonna do that now for the sake of time of the video. So you click this uh, little image icon, hover it over, it says add image, and then it'll create another um, sprite they call it. So you could select a file of your own. So I could go in here and just grab, say this background I was using for something else. So you can drag it around and skin in here. And you can also switch between layers. You can see over here, they'll switch as I click on each one. But if we're here, we can, the scale is basically just the size. You can't like click and drag it. You have to um, just change it manually by changing this decimal. If I wanted it smaller, I could change it to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and that'll keep it, oh, whoops. These are the same numbers that'll keep it proportional um, so it doesn't get stretched and you can move this around. If you make it like bigger than the image already is, if I put it at seven, um, <laughs> if I put it at seven, you can see it'll, it'll get pixelated and look not too good. You can also add the image border and all that stuff um, in here for the files. So once I'm done making my background, I would press download and it'll just render in like half a second. Um, and then press download again and it will start downloading down here, as you can see. Downloads incredibly fast. And then you can exit out of all the tabs and if you go into your finder, if you're on Windows, just your files and you go into downloads, you can see that it's background or PNG. If I drag it right here and click the preview, it's right here. Um, so that's a really cool um, thumbnail making software. Obviously, I do have Photoshop as well. Oh, I just opened it. Um, and I'll be using that in the future too. So the final step is within YouTube itself. So you can just click onto YouTube and I will sign in to Coupon Brady to show you this. So now that I'm signed into Coupon Brady, you can see here our page, and I'll just view it as if I was someone else. So this is how it looks to you guys, obviously. So um, yeah, you can just see this, and that's our page. But I'll go back into um, go back into being ourselves. Um, so we'll go up here to video manager and then you can see the list of your videos so what i would do is i would click on a video oops <laughs> click on a video um and this is q a by the way leave leave questions self-advertisement yeah <laughs> um but anyway you would click on the video and go into any of these tabs. So I'll just click on this one. And then here you can actually add tags. So you can also change the description here. But I like to do the tags in here because it's just an easier system. So I haven't actually tagged this video just so I can do this now, but it's a Q&A video. Basically you're gonna wanna put keywords down here in the tags. So I could write question, comma, and you can see it outlines it with a box. So that's how you know that um, it's a tag. And to get it outlined like that, you just have to um, hit the comma button. So I would add some other tags, just um, do like, I don't know, this. That's not even, I can't type. Uh, but you get the point of that. And then you would save the changes, but I'm not going to do that because I screwed up. Um, and then I'll just click leave this page. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and then the video will process once again in YouTube. It only takes about five minutes, um, but once again varies with the time of the video. Um, but yeah, and then your video will be uploaded. People can see it. And if you want to add your thumbnail, you can go back in here 
and right where this um, there should there would be a button here since we already have our thumbnail in um, it isn't there but there's a button here it's just a rectangle um, and it says add custom thumbnail you do have to verify your account to do that um, you just go into channel and click verify and then this button will show up and you can just access your files if I click this right here I can access my files and add a thumbnail but I'm just gonna keep the thumbnail how it is because um, it is our own video uh, but yeah that's pretty much it your video is uploaded you have the thumbnail you've got the tags you got pretty much everything you need to have it be a successful YouTube video so anyways that was it for my sort of rant tutorial thing on how I make my videos um, these videos here as well as the videos um, for coupon Brady um, as I do edit and make uh, videos on both of those channels um, hope this guy hope this helped you guys out I can speak Hope this helped you guys out um, a little bit, and I showed you around, showed you some stuff. I might do um, separate tutorials on like the stuff shown, um, like Backgrounder, or I already did a tutorial on iMovie, um, and also expect some tutorials on these uh, three, these three big boys right here, um, and. Yeah, I will also do a tutorial very soon on how to get these um, for free, no virus, no downloads whatsoever on Windows. Um, it is a glitch in Adobe's uh, system, um, which is great. I've already told it to one of my subscribers. Um, you know who you are. And uh, yeah, I will spread the word to you guys as well. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, as always. Um, and I will see you next time on Coupon.